Um, never depend on a man. Oh, coming <laughs> from a man. Yes. Uh-huh. Yo, I've, I've had people drop off, tell me, hey, I can't train with you. My oh, husband said, see. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we get those ones, but... It is what People it is. are insecure, yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay, to your <laughs> My life is always going to be public. That's how life is for me now. Everything I do is public. Hello. Hi, Frankie. How are you doing? Which one's mine? Um, no, I can hold it for you. Oh, okay. Yeah, star for today. All right, all right. Yeah, so this is how to see and this is SPM Buzz as well. Awesome. Yeah, so, you know, we just wanted to know how you're feeling right now, just coming in in the event, and what's happening today? Feeling energetic. Uh -huh. So it's uh, 100 years of Tusker. Okay. Pretty much a milestone. Yes. Kenya Milele. Uh -huh. So we're here to just enjoy the experience. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'd actually like to know mm -hmm. what has made you consistent in mm -hmm. Tasca just giving you the job, you know, this whole time. Well, first of all, uh -huh. I'm a content guru. Yes. <laughs> and then on top of that, it's it's something that definitely aligns with my brand because I'm pushing uh, Tusca Light. Yeah. And Tusca Light is uh, a beer which has less calories. Okay. So it's something that I, I preach in terms of flexible dieting. So you're not taking away uh -huh. the aspect of, you know, drinking, yes. but you're just drinking responsibly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I see what you just did that with alcohol. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. so, you know, I had to mention, you know, the placards that you hold on yes. the streets, nini nini. Yes. I would actually like to know, what was the inspo behind that and now it's, is it going so far? Um, literally, when I did that, uh -huh. it was just to demystify a lot of things. Yes. Um, people usually, like... The slimming tea thing uh -huh. so people usually take slimming tea but then they go eat mandazis and stuff like that yes so it's just you know giving people the the harsh reality okay because a lot of people don't want to hear those harsh realities yeah um but yeah we're still pushing on with it yes. i think i'm gonna lift another one real soon so stay tuned for that we can't wait for that now mm. of course you got backlash because of that you know on yeah, social yeah. media yeah um people saying you're probably you know body shaming and all that yes how yes. did that make you feel you know just being a and someone who is very enthusiastic about fitness, fitness yeah. yeah. Um, you know, you can always find an excuse in anything. For sure. Yeah, you can look at a situation and say, I don't want to do anything about my body, so what do I do? I can, I can demonize the yes. information that I'm getting. Yeah. And that's what people were doing. Uh, some people were really, you know, inspired by it, they're motivated by it. Yes. But the people who, you know, kind of like had harsh words to say, they just didn't want to look at themselves and do something about it. Yeah. All right. Now, it's unfortunate that like Frankie has said, you know, we can't talk about his family and all that. Yes. But I'm going to ask you about, you know, just being a girl dad. It's mm -hmm. something new to you. Yes. How is it being a girl dad and what has changed? I'm enjoying it so much. Um, I'm spending more time with her in terms of like, you get to enjoy the moments. You know, with a boy, you, you rush through things. Because yeah. it's a dude. You yes. know, you change your diaper, it's a raka raka. Uh -huh. But with a girl, you take more, you know, more time and you take more care because they're a little bit more gentle yes. than a guy. So mm -hmm. that those are one of the things which I'm, I'm starting to learn yeah. um, raising a girl. Yeah. yeah. What is that one value you have decided you're going to instill into your daughter's life? Um, never depend on a man. Oh, coming from a man. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh, and why yeah. is that? Unless it's her dad. Oh, okay, but it's still yeah. a man though. Uh, no, but I'm her dad. Yeah? Yeah, she oh. can depend on me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, okay. Now, the last question, Frankie. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, uh, looking at uh, social media where it's coming from right now and cyberbullying and all those kind of things. Yeah. What are your thoughts about, you know, keyboard warriors and all those people and your experience um, as well? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's, it's, it's something that is there to stay okay. because back in the day, people didn't have a voice. So the voice would come from newspapers and, you know, the gatekeepers, yes. the big news stations. Mm -hmm. uh, but now everyone has an opinion. Everyone has something to say. So the best thing you can do is actually just block it off yeah. as the individual. Because if you take everything to heart, you know, someone is probably projecting something that they're going through. Yeah. And they're thinking you're doing the same thing or you're going through the same thing or... Yeah you know, you're instilling the same issues that someone else instilled in them. Yeah. So they will have an opinion. 
because yeah. they're, they're, they're just taking it at face value. For sure. uh, but as a person who's going through that, mm -hmm. the best thing to do for your mental health, just block it off. Because, yeah. I mean, we've seen a lot of incidences of people, you know, offing themselves because they just, they don't know how to take it. Yeah. And it, if you don't, if you don't look at, if you don't take it serious, you might end up doing something to yourself or, you know, uh, might end up retaliating in a manner that you shouldn't. Yeah. Mm. I mean, coming from someone who's been through it all, yeah. that's an advice to take. Yeah, I mean, it, de it depends on what it is because if it's like memes, I mean, memes are hilarious. Yeah. Memes are always going to be funny. But if it's like harsh words, those are the ones which you have to like distance yourself from. If yes. you see any type of energy like that, no need to, you know, go back and forth with that person. Just block them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, being a fitness instructor, I'm yeah. actually very interested to know, have you ever gotten in trouble with someone's husband because you're training their wife? <laughs> Yo, I've, I've had people drop off, tell me, hey, I can't train with you. My oh, husband said, see. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we get those ones, but... It is what it People is. People are insecure, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay, to your fans, please just tell them. Oh, another qu Okay, it's okay. Just please tell them something <laughs> to your fans, yeah. So, I'd like to say, make sure you keep it fit. Make sure you watch uh, my challenge channel, uh, Just Gym It 254 on YouTube. And follow me on uh, Instagram, Frankie Just Gym It. And make sure if you're going to drink, drink responsibly. All right, thank you guys. Um, that was Frankie. Thank you for talking to us. We're no gonna problem. let you go for yes. the event and uh, looking good. Santa Sana. All right. Awesome. Uh, if you can allow me to add this. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry to ask you. No problem. I want to know, uh, given chance, because we believe there's always a new chapter in life. Mm -hmm. Are you planning, like, if you get a chance to move on with your life, let's get someone in your life, do you want to imagine public or do you want to do it private? Then maybe to ask, uh, are you planning to move on anytime soon? My life is always going to be public. That's how life is for me now. Everything I do is public. All right. Uh, just a last question. Uh, in terms of your adventurous person, yes. we've seen you travel a lot on your YouTube channel. And uh, sometimes you quite slow down. Is it because of family or you intend to, to keep giving uh, travel? <sighs> That's actually a good question. Um, there's a couple of things I'm working on that um, requires, you know, a little bit of funding so I'm working on that because travel and adventure stuff has been a passion of mine and before just COVID hit that was something that I was really into and I was looking to do a location every month and then the last month I was looking to do you know the whole um, uh, Mount Kenya but you know COVID hit and slowed everything down but now I'm looking to do it but on a bigger grander scale so stay tuned there's this stuff we're working on uh, globally, I can tell you, I'm looking to, to go to Tulum because that's like a paradise for fitness enthusiasts. It's that jungle gym where, you know, you're training with rocks and, and trees and stuff like that, which I'm just passionate about i love i love outdoors so being able to do that by the beach and everything together with all the other you know fitness influences where uh, globally i i can't i can't picture anything better than that uh, just finally uh, of, of all the places you've traveled in kenya mm -hmm. which is the most memorable destination you or you would like to go to? most memorable in kenya it's a, it's a good question uh can't really think of one just yet i know I've, I've i've driven in terms of just like getting away and my clearing my mind you know the the tea plantation on limur road right all the way out there i've, I've done a bike right there motorbike on my motorbike oh man this is one of the most freeing things ever uh so that one was was quite good i heard they cut the trees there i hope they didn't uh, so I'll take Penelope there one day and just uh, take some nice photos. Thank you very much and all the best. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Frank.